What is up, my friends? How y'all doing? This is your boy, Sosa Points, coming at you with the Chapter 66 Breakdown. My darn phone wasn't working for a little bit. Oh, I hate it whenever that happens. So normally, I'm the first one to bring out this breaking news out to y'all the fastest. I probably still will be on this one, but uh, it, it's even more delayed because uh, the stupid phone update and all that other stuff. But you know how technology goes, and isn't it wonderful? So hopefully, y'all will smash that thumbs up like button for our breakdown review of Chapter 66, Dragon Ball Super Manga, Moral Consumer of Worlds. And hopefully y'all will subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, select the all features so you can see all my future content, share this with everybody, and let me know what you think in the comments. Now, without further ado, let's get into this breakdown right here. Vegeta notes that something uh, is off with Gohan. He tells everybody to fly up into the air so that the uh, Moro cannot consume their energy. And all the poor humans are on the earth getting their energy sucked up because they don't know any better than they can't fly. But Vegeta, being a very good captain, tells them to get off the ground so that Moro can absorb the energy and says Goku darn it you screwed up again didn't you so yeah Vegeta is on his way to rescue him and uh, Moro is just bragging and bragging trying to punch Goku to no avail but you know he still is a part of the earth and he's proclaiming that the energy is mine Goku's telling him to quit it he's blocking them all pretty effortlessly the art is really good right here once again I know we say this all the time Toyotar's art it's really, really good. It's improving every single time we see him. But my God, he needs to keep up with better storytelling and better continuity like stuff. Like he he claimed like in, in before in the earlier part of the moral arc that Saiyans couldn't survive in space at all, almost at all. And that's actually not true. Toriyama's confirmed it many. It's been shown many times in the manga and the anime. And yet he doesn't keep up with that stuff. There's other problems with continuity that he hasn't addressed. And so his storytelling, his copycat, right, his style, just eh, not good. But we got to give him credit where credit's due, and he seems to be making up for the story pretty well. People are starting to actually come around. Uh, we all know that they weren't happy with the Goku Senzu Bean thing. But let's not harp on him too much. Maybe he'll keep on getting but Once again, the art is fabulous right here. Uh, Moro continues, as I said, my body is now the planet itself. There's nowhere left to run. And Beerus notes that uh, simply dodging those attacks may avoid the detonation, but Moro's energy continues to swell unabated. And Krillin asks, is there any way to keep him from exploding? And Wiz says, "One method. Uh, one, there's one method, yes, which is the crystal thing. He needs to break the crystal. Beerus says that he's going to have to get involved, even though he really doesn't want to. He said, losing the Earth would be some trouble, you know. I'm in big trouble with if the other gods of destruction see me do this, so let's make it quick. So he really values the earth, or at least the food. That's what they always care about. Wiz and Beers both confirm this is the food. But but right before Beers does that, he, uh, Wiz gets a call from the Grand Priest. And even Beers has stopped dead in his tracks. <laughs> and uh, Wiz says, terrible news, Lord Beers. And he's like, what is it? And uh, he, uh, Wiz goes, I dare say it involves the matter of mirrors. They already found that he poofed. <laughs> poofed. Uh, you receive summons. Uh, you've received summons from the Grand Prix. So it's not Wiz being called; it's Beerus being called. That is super interesting, right there. So like Beerus, is like, well, we can't be hearing around here. Let's get to it. And he's just like, I thought you were gonna protect the planet. Jocko and Krillin cry to him. He's like, solve your own problems. I got better things to do. I gotta get to them. So Wiz goes up to Goku while they're in the middle of fighting, and Wiz does that epic finger block on Moro and that's just so cool it ultimately confirms that still Goku even with the ultra instinct mastered is still way behind uh, Wiz like it's not even close he's definitely surpassed Beerus I don't know if he has in the manga that's debatable definitely anime but possibly in the manga too but at least whenever it comes to this we we've been both confirmed in the anime and the manga that Wiz is way more powerful than than Goku even with his master ultra instinct so blocking the um, blocking the uh, uh Moro's fist within from the earth with that uh finger and he's like you got to hit the crystal you got to shatter the crystal and he's like if done properly it will destroy the it will destroy Moro and leave the earth intact He's just like, you've already acquired divine power, have faith in your own strength. How cliche. The motiva uh, motivational pep talk in speech. How cliche. And so Beerus is like, listen up, Goku. Even if, our plan even if the planet dies, you better save some of the Earth's food for me. Yeah, because that's all he really cares about. So Goku is motivated now. He's like, all right, let's get to it then. And so Beerus and Wiz fly off. They're off. And... And Krillin and Jocko are still amazed that they left under those circumstances. 
So uh, the moral keeps on getting bigger and bigger and bigger, swelling inside the earth, and uh, the crystal is disappearing the bigger he gets. So Goku is on, on a very urgent thing. He's just like, he, he knows he has to act right away. He can barely even see the crystal anymore. And Vegeta tells him to get out of the way. And he stomps the earth with Moro, uh, that the Moro is near. And Moro is being all sorts of flabbergasted. He is all sorts of getting messed up right there. And the crystal is becoming bigger because uh, Vegeta is doing this force spirit fission on the earth and Moro. Uh, Goku notes that his body is deflating. Vegeta goes, enough yapping. Destroy that blasted crystal. It can only rip away spirit energy from him for so long. Goku goes, you got it. Everything riding on this fist of mine right here. So he goes around dodging all the arms and everything that Moro is trying to take at him. And he actually blasts through one of the hands. He just completely overpowers it, which is super interesting. He does that to a couple of them right there. Moro's trying to stop him, but he, with the one of the few last hands, he's actually able to stop him and get him stuck. And now uh, Goku is no longer able to pursue it. And Vegeta is just chastising him still. He's like, I'm at my limit. Do it already. He's draining me faster than I can strip him of his spirit. And <laughs> Goku is uh, lamenting to himself. He's just like, oh, I'm still not good enough. I'll never be good enough. Why can't I do it? What Miris did, blah, blah, blah. blah. And uh, yeah, they're just, it's just, it, it's incredibly cliche. But Jocko runs off with his jet boots and he's going to go off and get something. Although we are not told what. And he, uh, Vegeta is telling Goku, don't power down. And he's just like, I'm sorry, Vegeta, I can't help it. <laughs> it's, my power is getting sucked away. So uh, Vegeta is approached by Gohan, Tien, Yamcha, Chaozu, Piccolo, everybody. And it's nice to see them have some involvement right here. By the way, that space video, the space proof that I was talking about before, that video will be linked in the description and first comment as well as tabs coming up at the end of the video. You should definitely check those out after we're done with this one. But thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, now stop plugging. Let's get back to it. And so he does this. Uh, he Piccolo says he should do the sport, a spirit uh, fission in reverse and uh, transfer the energy from them to Goku. And he's like, yeah, that's the same principle. Uh, I can do that. So he bent, he's like, so he starts accumulating their energy and they're all putting their fists together basically like grasping hands and that's pretty cool right there and piccolo telepathically communicates with everybody at the lookout goten uh trunks uh, bulma mr popo hercule all that stuff and tells them to do the same thing lend the power to vegeta and uh piccolo is able to do multiple telecommuni tele uh, telepathic communications which is a cool little symbolization of his power right here and uh, he, uh, Vegeta puts his own key finally in it and transfers it to Goku, but it only is able to uh, power up Goku up to blue, unfortunately. Blue, it doesn't give him the Ultra Instinct power because it's not on the God Key level. It apparently seems that you have to have a God Key come from a divine source in order to be able to power up back to a godly form Ultra Instinct. So that's actually pretty interesting right there. Uh, they're all noting that he's not able to go to Ultra Instinct and that Blue's just not going to be enough. Uh, not even with the Chi from everybody. And uh, uh, Dende re uh, goes over. He's just like, well, my power is divine. It's still developing, though, so it didn't help too much. So he still wasn't able to do it with that. So uh, Ordinary Chi just doesn't cut it is uh, what Bulma indicates, which we've already surmised for ourselves at this point. So they get Majin Buu. Uh, Jocko goes up, uh, he's like, he asks Bulma where Majin Buu is, and she's like, he's sleeping in there. And Moro is crushing Goku. It's just like, it's, it, it's again, Toyotaro and his copycat writing, it looks exactly like the Ozawa form with Vegeta when he was crushing Goku when he first came to Earth. It's exactly what it looks like. The artwork is super cool, don't get me wrong, but that's exactly what it looks like. It's copycat writing. And Goku laments, sorry, it's all my fault. You darn right it's your fault, Goku. You should have known better by now. You've learned this lesson so much from Gohan and everything like that. But once again, Toyotar doesn't keep up with the continuity. I sound like a broken record right here. So please forgive me. But anyways, let's continue. <laughs> uh, and so Yamcha's like, can we just leave this planet? You know, maybe just, you know, start a new life somewhere else. And he's just like, no, it won't work. The galaxy will go with Moro if he explodes. So there's no point in even trying to escape. And there's no time. Yeah, there's just no time to be able to do anything. So Moro is like 
just losing his grip on his form and you know he's about to explode anyway so it, it doesn't matter what they do it doesn't even it's like moral can even stop it now it's just like when uh semi-perfect cell was uh, gonna explode even i can't stop it anymore yeah that that same basic thing because broken record my gosh anyways <laughs> so uh these uh the uh big spirit ball that uh vegeta was able to accumulate becomes a whole lot bigger because we now have uh the kaioshin helping out oob yes oob has finally made his appearance he's helping transfer the energy and his divine power and even though oob is not well trained yet and it this is really interesting too because uh geekdom did a video how it basically g gives back you know basically the ideas of you know keeping the continuity good this toyotar actually kept continuity in this one pretty well whenever it came to the ending of dragon ball super uh not dragon ball z not dragon ball super dragon ball z and everyone was like that seems like they're gonna have to retcon it how are they gonna be able to keep it and they kept their word it's really really good oob is untrained but he has lots of potential energy right there we actually have the kaioshin helping out the reincarnation of the evil kid boo that originally had enveloped him for so many millennia that is really cool right there so <laughs> yamcha is like i'm gonna die a bachelor and but now they're all looking at this gut god uh power this divine power it was like who sent this and they all realized that it's ooh and that's what jocko was doing so it's ooh they had the power all along and you know dende is telling everybody that you know what's going on and everything and uh Oob is like am i doing it right he's like yeah you're doing great just stick your hand out right there that's all he has to do so that's a pretty simple job but you know Oob is very timid he's very nice so that fits his character really well so vegeta is just like i don't care who this chi and who this key is and who it belongs to but i'm giving it to goku here take it boom and uh, Goku is able to receive the energy right before he gets crushed for the final time and goes up to Ultra Instinct again and makes basically a, sh a key projection of himself to fight more with. His actual body is inside the little head right there. So I originally thought that um, maybe Mirus had absorbed Goku or Goku had been willingly absorbed. But no, uh, basically Goku is able to make a key, a uh, huge giant form of himself to be able to suppress more while Goku and his actual body goes after the crystal. And he does after some epic artwork and the, you know, the kind of pausing scene for dramatic effect, you know, Goku is about to go in for the final blow and he does right here. He uh, punches it and uh, ends up cracking it wide open, shattering it. And they do a lot of emphasizing artwork in this. There's like six manga panels just showing that final blow and it's really good. It's really good awkward. I, I like how I like the dramatic end right there. So it starts to crack, it shatters, and the uh, part of the planet where Moro is kind of explodes, and everyone's you know being pushed back by the explosion and stuff like that. And then after they all get up from the rubble, Goku uh, actually th puts his thumbs up and says, uh, you know, that it indicates that basically they won now i have a prediction guys i have a prediction i don't know if it's going to come true or not but if they really want to make vegeta fans happy because i know some vegeta fans are not going to be happy about vegeta not getting the win and not contributing enough yes he did have the sport and force spirit vision and he did help out goku and he couldn't have done it without him yes that is true but it's not enough i want vegeta to get the win so what I think is that Goku, with Vegeta's help, is going to defeat the planet Moro. And what I think might happen, my prediction, if I was Toyotaro and Toriyama, is that I would have Moro actually still be alive and in his either unfused form or, you know, the old goat thing or fused with 73 still. And maybe Vegeta can continue to do the sport spirit fission again or... To complete the sport force spirit fission from the earth because if he did it with the earth he would eventually do it to 73 as well so it, it would make sense for both to happen at the same time the old goat to be there and vegeta to be the one to finally kill him to finally end him i don't want him to go to jail or anything like that or be finally sealed up even though that's probably what's going to happen because you know goku is that way i want vegeta to be the one to end him 
the, the the old goat guy, Moro, like that old goat form. I think that would be the best way to make Vegeta fans happy. And he would redeem himself quite a bit from the Goku Senzu Bean tobacco right there. That's what I think he should do. Let me know if y'all agree in the comments. Like I said before, I hope y'all hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. Please smash that thumbs up, like button, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, select the all feature. I cannot wait to see what y'all have to say about this breakdown. I'll be happy to answer any specific questions that y'all have. Then check out and after you're done with this video and you follow me on all my social media platforms like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, links to that media description, first comment as well. And while you're checking out the other space video and other videos that should be coming up on the screen right now, tabs that you can just click on, go and read the Viz manga for yourself and then come back and let me know what you thought about it and see if I missed anything or any points that you like, any of your favorite scenes and parts right there. And let me know if you agree with my prediction or not. I can't wait to see what y'all have to say. Thank you so much for listening to me rant. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this breakdown. I will see y'all later. Peace out, my friends. Behave yourselves.